Hey guys, Mary J M. So it's October twenty first at nine thirty a.m. and I've been out since five a.m. So I'm getting tired again. Like I said, I have to sleep like every five hours. So I am gonna go to bed pretty soon. Uh, there's Josephine. <laughs> I have to fix my bed again because I roll around a lot. So, I want to show you guys what I made, though, yesterday, because I didn't get the chance. So, this is, um, pan-fried noodles that I made. I'm trying to figure out where to put my phone. The other day. Or, it's just the udon noodles. I already ate half of it, though, and I just used frozen veggies because I don't really have too many vegetables left. So, that's pretty much what I made. Chickpeas I added. Um, I'll try to add the title, uh, the link for the recipe. If I don't do it before I fall asleep, then I will when I wake up. And for now, oh, and I also made this cabbage filling. So this is by Foodie Takes Flight, and this is for pan-fried buns, but I still have to make the buns from scratch using the dough, so that won't be till like later, but I wanted to at least cook up the food so it doesn't go bad. So, that's that. And so, that's how I cook. I cook in like small batches. So then that way, if I can't do, like, everything from scratch, at least the filling is done, and then I could do everything, so it's not too bad. And what I made for myself is pierogies. I love pierogies, and these are vegan. So it's just pierogies and onions. I'm not going to eat all of them, I just make, made the rest of them. I was going to make french fries, but I'm too tired, and I don't want to put my place in fires. <laughs> I left it like that. I put mustard on it. Uh, did a few dishes. Not a lot, but quite a few. Ta-da! So like I keep saying, my doctor keeps saying, if you're too tired, don't worry. Take a nap and then do what you have to later because like I've said, I could always start my oven and make french fries and fall asleep, and then all of a sudden, na, 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 na. <laughs> that's from the warning that there's a fire going. So that's why I say stop what you're doing, or you could cut yourself, which I've done several times. So I'm going to bring you guys over here to the living room because I got to make the bed again. I know you guys see not a lot. Oh, there's speckles. Speckles and Josephine. So yeah, it's just easier for me to like record a few videos at once and then I upload them all together. Usually when I'm sleeping, <laughs> but I have to fix the bed because the blankets are everywhere. I'm just charging my phone. Oops. Once I get it in. There you go. And so, I also wanted to say, too, like, a lot of people test my words all the time. And they're like, you're, you constantly talk about life plus 70. The reason why is because I don't know who to watch. Because <laughs> that's who I used to watch for cleaning videos. So, I found a new person to watch. Oh, there's Josephine. So I linked her channel. And she does it for fun. So she does a lot of cleaning videos. And, um... Yeah, like I said, I don't hit her. I'm just disappointed. I miss her old vlogs where she did her hobbies and she made stuff. And she'd go out and do stuff. And it's just... Her old stuff is better. So... I keep telling her she should go back to her old style, and a lot of people keep saying that. Like, the, this whole personal stuff with her and her exes, it's just making people not want to watch anymore. 
But like I said, I, I don't hate her and I'm not I'm not gonna stop watching her. I'm just not gonna watch her as much. And right now I'm looking for other YouTubers who clean. So because it inspires me to clean. So I just wanted to say that because I know a lot of people are like, oh, you're such a hater now. I'm like, I'm not a hater. I'm just disappointed with this new guy <laughs> and what she's doing. So, I mean, if you've been watching her as long as I've been watching her, like I said, I've been watching her since the whole uh, Andrew left at the beginning thing stage. So it's been a long time. So, I've already been through that a couple of times where she's crying over a guy. <laughs> I'd rather see her. I liked it better at the beginning when she's like, I'm going to start my life over from moving on from this guy. Because, <clears throat> like I said, you never really get over it. Like, I'm not over my ex yet. Well, I'm over my ex. I'm just not over how it ended and what happened. But there's nothing I can do about it except we try to get out of debt, which I've been doing, and living around my conditions. So that's what I've been doing. No contact whatsoever. Speckles is mine. The only good thing that came from my ex. <laughs> so, but yeah, I don't keep saying, oh, I want my ex back. And uh, I mean, I did at the beginning, but <laughs> I didn't do it on YouTube. But like I said, everybody deals with their pain in their own way, but at the same time, don't chase after people that are not good for you, because in the long end, you just get cheated, cheated out, and they're not even really together, so uh, my chart, my phone's not even plugged in, <laughs> that's what happened last time, it's because my phone is so old. Um, <clears throat> I'm still on a wait list with disability to get a new phone and a new plan so my family doesn't have to keep paying for it, but this is a Samsung 9, so it's old, so I have to constantly charge it, otherwise I don't have a phone. Or when I do the scroll down, I'm just checking the date and time. So yeah, I gotta fix the bread as speckles moves. <laughs> Look at him, so cute. Both of them. Of course, they both go on the bed when I gotta move it. <laughs> I know you guys have seen this so many times, but I'm like, might as well do it on camera again. So make your bed. <laughs> Even if you're just going back to bed. <laughs> make your bed. Everything is not in the proper way. Oh, sorry, Speckle, we got a thing. Yeah, I sleep with a lot of blankets that night. Beep, beep. That's another reason why I gotta change them. Because I don't, now it's not too uh, cold. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious when my friend said, You're telling people to give out your, people, your phone number to people on the bus? <laughs> I'm like, No. I was just giving a good example. Oh, and actually, the funny thing, too, talking about transit, is there was actually um, a guy that I used to talk to on a Pony of Fish, and he had my last name, so he started talking. But he always ended up with somebody. I'm like, how did you meet your the person that you're with? And he's like, at the bus stop. <laughs> Every time, at the bus stop. And I'm like, you meet all your girls, the girls that you do at the bus stop. <laughs> so I'm not the only one that picks up people when you're out. Like, if you go out all the time, where else are you supposed to pick people up? Are you speckles? <laughs> you gonna move? You got sleep on your eye. 
And the other reason why I'm showing you guys this is so you guys can see the cats. Because I didn't show them at all yesterday because they were out, out all day. Oops. That's all they have sleep on him. He has sleep on his eye too. I'm trying to get it off him. But he does not like it. There you go. See? Black. <laughs> oh, look at Spickles. 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 Are you mama's boy? Are you mama's boy? <laughs> I keep telling him before I go to bed and when I wake up, make sure you're just here when I wake up. I want you for at least for another year minimum. Or more. Because he's 16 years old, so it takes me to say my first cat only lives 17 years. And I had to put him down due to cancer. Which is so sad. I think I told you guys that story. But <clears throat> for those that don't know, my first cat, he was 17. And, um... He had cancer, he couldn't eat, he couldn't look after himself, he was literally peeing everywhere. I had to take him on transit to the vet, which was far at the time. And then, because I had an animal rescue help me with a vet cost, and they actually wanted me to give him up to somebody else to pay for all the treatment that he has to go for for cancer when he's 17 years old and can't eat or drink and then the vet was even trying to say yeah we gotta keep him alive i'm like no he's he can't eat he's gonna suffer you gotta eat to survive and if he can't eat and then so i was fighting with the vet and then i was fighting with the animal organization because they're like oh well you, got, you should give him up for somebody else you could I'm like, he could die in the next hour, in the next day. <laughs> and you want him to go through all that? No way. So, sometimes, I mean, sometimes no kill, yes. I do believe in it, but you gotta look at the situation too. Like, Nino was 17 years old. He couldn't eat, he couldn't drink. He was in a lot of pain. You could see it in his eyes. So the vet finally agreed with me too put him down and I was there with him but and then with Hope she was 14 years old with kidney disease and as painful and as hard as it was to put her down it's still better in the long end because she was suffering and I had two vets tell me that she was suffering so yeah it's uh sometimes you just have to do what's best for them but I wanted to get the second opinion first <laughs> before I did that and just to be on the safe side but I still have Josephine and I still have Speckles and Josephine is 15 and Speckles is 16 and I got Speckles from my ex and he pretty much ditched Speckles and me but he's fine hey Speckles we love him very much <laughs> He doesn't like being too close to Josephine. But that's the story. But I do have like a full video on like all my cats and how I got them all together. So if you guys want to watch that. I'm trying to make this a little longer because I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, I think I've got some, something for today. Until I wake up. And then when I wake up, we got a vacuum. Technically, I should be doing that now. But, yeah, pop. Pick it up. Yay! Ryan Speckles. <laughs> Ryan Speckles. <laughs> you want me to grab the vacuum cleaner? Move it. Move it. Move it. Thank you.
And then another reason why I do this every day with the bed is because both my calves are old. And I often find poo on the bed <laughs> because they're too old and they can't get to the washroom sometimes. So I always check. It doesn't look like that there's any today, so that's good. But it's not their fault, they're just old. So, they can't get to it. Yeah, I was going to, uh, what do you call it? I was going to move the bed and vacuum it and vacuum the bed, but I'm just going to vacuum everything all at once. So next time I wake up, I'm just going to wash those dishes that are in the sink and then start uh, cleaning cleaning vacuum and the table can't believe it's nine days to Halloween <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna go to the cemetery that's close by because it's free and it's close But I never hand out candy because I can't afford it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be going out for Halloween, but I can't afford it. Even though when I get paid, that has to all go to debt and cats and food. So I haven't been buying a lot of things like vegetables and stuff I've been holding off on because it's just too expensive right now, other than onions and mushrooms. So, I need a nap. I need a nap. Like I keep saying, It's not just the chronic fatigue syndrome, it's also the medication that I'm on it makes me super tired. This again is the medication that I take. Prolongo, I think it's pronounced. Uh, P-R-O-P-R-A-N-O-L-O-L. -O -O -L. So I take this every night before I go to bed, which I always eat. So, yeah. That's why I'm always tired, and the cats just went poo, <laughs> at least in the litter box. So, um, I'm going to get ready to upload these videos, go for another smoke, warm up my pierogies. I was going to make french fries, but I'm just too tired. I'm also kind of too tired to eat it, but I've been craving pierogies for some reason. <laughs> But at least now you guys see my kitty cats today. So, at least my place is not really that messy. So, the um, cleaning video that I've been watching, I forget her name, but I linked it on my community post. But those are the videos that I watched, and I'm like, see, my place isn't that bad. <laughs> the places that she cleans are <laughs> really bad, but... A lot of it has to do with um, her old family members that are a little older and they work a lot. Or some of them have conditions like me. So she keeps saying, I like how she says, just look at what you have to do and t just tackle that part. And then once you're done that, if you're like moving on to more, then do more. If you can't, wait till later. She says that too. So, at least I did some dishes, but now I'm getting tired. 
So, yeah. I'm just a bit fucking sick now. <laughs> I can't get up. <laughs> this bed is actually pretty comfortable. There's just a few and scratching posts. So yeah, anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoy my tips. I also did that because there's a lot of my friends that are finding it hard to meet people. And uh, my dad's trying, finding it hard to meet people and he's older. So like how to start conversations with people. And he doesn't watch my YouTube, but even I tell him just... Start going up to people and start asking questions because everybody loves talking about themselves. <laughs> Except for me, I I don't. If somebody asks me a question, then I'll respond with a question. <sighs> I like to talk. I just don't like being asked questions because then I have to think about what I'm going to say. But. It is, it is good advice. If you don't know, if you don't know how to start a conversation or you're too nervous to talk to somebody, just start asking them questions because everybody loves to talk about themselves. But that doesn't mean you go out and just talk to anybody. <laughs> Read the situation. Um, there's actually... One of my friends was actually at the night market, too, and she was, like, she was waiting in line. There's somebody, like, her age, like, right beside her, and she was, like, I was going to ta start talking to her, but I didn't know how to talk to her. So, I was like, why don't you just say hi? <laughs> Maybe she's bored alone by herself, too, waiting in line, and then you could have a new friend. So, never be afraid. Like I said, if somebody gets mad at you, you could always just say, Sorry, I thought you were somebody else. And then there you go. I do that all the time. <laughs> Which is funny because a lot of people think I'm very sociable. And I'm like, no. I'm not at all. <laughs> I usually let other people talk. And then... You know, when I'm on camera, it's different because... I'm comfortable in front of the camera, but for situations, then I just start talking to people and I ask them questions. Oh, I also was at the Headstone concert, and I thought the guy was cute, but he was way too young, so, <laughs> but I didn't know how to start talking to him, so that's what I asked him, I was like, I have a question for you, if that's okay, and he was looking at me and he was like, sure, what, I'm like, how old are you? <laughs> and he's like, I was going to ask you the same thing. I was like, uh, and he's like, I'm 20. This is my first concert. I'm like, yeah, I'm 40, 42 at the time. So he's like, oh. <laughs> he's the same age as my dad. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. So I was just like, if you don't know what to say, just like ask anything really. Even, but it was pretty cool because we started talking and he actually got um, a harmonica from Hugh Dillon in the show. And he actually let me touch it. And I was like, oh, I wish I could have it. <laughs> but that's okay. It was pretty cool though. So yeah, if you, if you never know what to say, you could always just ask a random question. Like I said, he was looking at me, so I kind of knew that he wanted to talk. <clears throat> But yeah, he was way too young. <laughs> way too young. My first concert was actually when I was 19. And I went to go see R.E.M. with my sister. And I don't like R.E.M. anymore. <laughs> I actually kind of hate them. So, I, like, when people ask me, what was your first concert? I'm like, R.E.M. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty tired out. I'm laughing. Because I'm just like, <sighs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> you know, the, the man, no, what's that song? Everybody hurts sometimes. That's right, yeah. But I don't like them anymore. 
<laughs> but they were free tickets, so that's why we got to go. Um, but I was not a fan of them even at that time. Well, uh, that was my first concert. So, anyways, made the bed, so I'm going to get ready to upload these videos. And, um, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you guys when I wake up. I'm probably going to sleep for like an hour or two. And then yesterday <clears throat> was a long day and I walked so much yesterday. I walked like six blocks from like me. I'm trying to remember where it was. Anyways, I was heading towards Georgia from Main Street Sky Train Station pretty much. So, and all the roads were blocked off, so I had to keep turning around, and I showed you guys that yesterday. So, my legs are killing me today. I think I just woke up because I needed the washroom, and I needed a smunk, and then I ended up starting to clean. But, yeah, my legs are really sore today from all that walking. Can't believe that. It just hasn't been my day. <laughs> I love that song. Should have just gone back to bed. That's from the monkeys. Hey, hey, where the monkeys? And they actually have a song called Merry Manny. I know I can't sing, but if I play the song, I'll get copyrighted. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm so exhausted that I'm singing, and I'm laughing, and I'm tired, so I'm going to get ready for bed. Now you saw my cats. Well, the speckles are back on the bed. Got ya. Whoops. Where'd you go? That's his spot there. <laughs> as soon as the blankets are done, he's like, it's my, it's my spot. It's my spot. <laughs> oh, there's Josephine. So I'm going to rest because my legs are really hurting. And I hope you guys enjoy my videos. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. Welcome to my haunted world. Remember, just do what you can. And if whatever you can't finish, do it later. You're on Phantom Stories.